hello welcome to the channel today we'll talk about the scripted field or calculated field so what is the meaning of a scripted field or calculated field so whatever you want to create a kind of dynamic field in the jira so based on the different field if you uh, different field values if you want to change in the field so uh, we can, it's that's known as a scripted field or calculated fields example i want to pro, uh, show or display the time difference between two dates okay like this one end date and start date are there i want to show the difference between these two in a one of the field so how i can achieve it with the help of scripted field or calculated field only i can do that so there are many plugins which are providing the calculator or scripted field uh, you can create it out but i am going to create with the help of jm cf field only plugin only so if you you have the plugin then you can create it okay so let's create so what is my agenda or what i'm going to do it i will show the difference between these two dates and time okay in a one of the field go to here custom field add custom field click on all so there are n number of available option are available so i am going to choose this one duration field because it's a uh, duration between two field date and time difference next apply all date and time difference is there right now let's come here refresh the page here i need to add so click on admin add field date and time difference it's showing error why because there is no configuration for that field so let's click on show details view field configuration you can see there is no formula so i have created the field but i need to create a formula also based on the formula only it's showing it will show the value okay so let's edit the formula click on issue field which date i want first i want end date and date and time okay let convert it to a uh, long format get time okay minus which date now i want start date start date and time okay dot same get time okay now let's close it let's open it over here in the beginning okay now go to the end uh, so it will provide the value now but the problem is like it will show the difference only but i want to convert in the millisecond also then only it will work so let's divide by thousand okay now close it dot too long now i am converting in the long format in the millisecond just go down and save it okay i have saved the formula come here refresh the page see it's working is it going correct so let's test it out so uh, let's change the start date mm, yeah 2021 okay third save once you will save it it will change automatically why because it's a scripted field it's working based on the another field only so let's change it out here go to 2017 okay time also i will change from am to uh, sorry pm to am okay it's changed so what six year four weeks two days 15 hours it's saying each and everything and it's working based on the different field so like this you can create a custom field uh, scripted custom field or you can say the calculated custom field okay thank you for watching have a good day